Good morning, YouTube crew. This is Eric Webb. I'm wearing an orange hat. It's got two way stripes on it. One stands for design, and the other one stands for drawing, which is uh, mainly what we're going to do today. Uh, in this second video in my new tutorial series of short how to's, today we're going to talk about the brushes in Inkscape. I'm going to go ahead and, and dial that back. I remember this uh, This assumes you already have your tablet installed, Inkscape is seeing it, and you've got your uh, canvas set up the way you like, whether it's uh, infinite or not, like the previous video. So here we go. I'm going to grab the calligraphy brush tool. I'm going to uh, grab the default brush, and this is for Inkscape 0.92.5, which is the last stable one that I really like to draw in. I haven't had much luck in the newer ones. You know, some of this may still apply. So whenever you get that default brush, the, the points aren't pointy. It's a... Uh, very wobbly and uh, the the lines leave a little bit to be desired there so to change that with the same brush right here the thinning is way too low I don't, I don't even know how what the minus does I mean you want at the very least zero at least gets it to start behaving like a felt brush or felt nib or something I typically work from zero or the low tens to get a really nice taper on the point there whenever I'm really getting expressive i like to bump it up around in the 20s and it's real thin but you can really get some neat effects with it see that but typically i like that to be around 15. Uh, the fixation which is the behavior of the nib i usually live at zero just it's really good if you want to do a dip pen effect if you want like a hard stop and then thin and then stop and thin and i'll show you the dip pen in a minute so Brush tip, just leave that zero caps, kind of determines how the end of everything works. But right here is the real thing, um, wiggle, by default it's 25, you can, so that creates a little bit of a, a waver in your hand, and you can up that big time, you can, to see that, see it's impossible to get it perfectly straight. Tremor is the one I like the most, it creates a little bit of variation, almost like the, the line is bleeding into the paper. So wiggle I, I typically leave off, but whenever you leave that off, if you do fast strokes, it's really nice looking like a like a brush pen or something or a dip pen it gives you a little more of a traditional look if you turn that all the way off then it's super smooth if you turn that way up then it's it creates all kinds of neat and when you do it slower they're closer together when you do it faster they're farther apart in general zero for a standard smooth brush is what we're going to do this time and then i'll show you how to do it more Mass is usually, even in the newer versions, usually around two, and you don't want that. It's going to read every single little variation in your hand. So I typically uh, sketch around around four to four to six on it. Begin the day when my hands just not warmed up yet. Six to seven helps me get nice lines, you know. Uh, but around anything anything eight and up is good for inking. And the higher that is, I wouldn't go above like 14, 15, but you can get really nice, smoothed out, controlled inks that way. So, what we're going to do here. So, I want it to be around, see, the, I want the width around 20. I want to keep the trimmer and the wiggle off because I want it nice and smooth. I want the mass around. I don't like the, usually ink around more than 9. Caps is at like 22, but also you can leave that at 0. And then uh, fixation 0 angle you just leave it use the tilt of the input device check and then thinning i'm gonna leave it around 15. make sure your pressure sensitivity is on and you can you know this is assuming you have your drawing tablet and you already kind of know how to use it now then you can use this uh, little icon up here with the wrench tool and you can save it i have a couple pre-saved i would say EW Bruh is kind of the closest to that. I actually have the caps up on 33 on that one. Hmm. But um, anyway, another cool brush is a, what I call the Feud Brush. It's like the F Pentel Feud Brush Pen or Watercolor Pen. And it has the tremor up to about 6. And the thinning is up a little higher in the 20s. And uh, it creates a really nice, uh, it has a nice little waver to it. If I zoom in here, and it creates a nice little got just a little variation almost like you're drawing on some kind of textured slightly textured paper and and I, I draw with it a lot I really like the look of it so yeah all right one more brush we're gonna look at is the nib tool so I have a dip pen uh, we can also start with the default dip pen now on this one the fixation is 90. It wants hard differences in angles. See? 
Like it's it's got like it's like a it's like a calligraphy pen or a fountain pen. It's got a hard straight edge and then thinner sideways. Thinning is about ten, that's fine. Um I do like to up my mass. I think I actually turn up my thinning a little bit. And uh but it it's kinda neat to draw with too. It creates happy little expressive lines. This would be a good one too to have a little bit of tremor on. Like you're drawing with a like a dip pen or something, you know. She got some battle damage. Battle damage. And we can lower the width. Kind of tilt the pen so it creates a nice but look at that texture, the, the way the line looks. It's kind of gritty. Because it's only wide on one side, but then if you it's thin on the other side. It's really cool. So there's a basic look at uh, using brushes and then make sure, you know, when you get one tweaked the way you like, uh, make sure to save it so you can just grab it and go. So in review, we've got the, uh, the smooth brush pen with no wiggle and, and uh, limited thinning. We have the, uh, the one with extra thinning, still smooth. We have the feud brush pen to create kind of like a, textured bleeding ink dip pen kind of look like a g pen or dip nib of some kind and then we have the um then we have a, a dip nib or a calligraphic a truly calligraphic nib which is appropriate since this is the calligraphy tool and one i forgot to mention bonus is one i just saw here called the ew splotch if you turn your tremor way up, your wiggle way up, your mass all the way to zero, you up the width, like the higher the better, <clears throat> 80, 90, something like that. And the thinning, I don't know why that's low, it should be up. The thinning should be like way up. Alright, so apparently I need to save out a new splotch pen. But yeah, thinning up towards like 30s, 40s, wiggle and tremor up near 10, and uh and uh, fixation zero, caps at one, um, and uh, it's really cool for superpowers, for uh, background effects, smoke, or other abstract uses, blood spatter, you know, you can get good drips with it. Uh, I love it. Let's try out these brushes. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll be happy, happy to answer them. Again, this only applies to uh, Escape 0.92.5. Um, whenever they hit 1.0 and up, they completely rebuilt this whole drawing thing, and it, it just doesn't act the same. And in fact, there's things like random spots and stuff that get in the way. So I kind of, I, even though I keep trying the new ones, I, I keep going back to this because it's my main workhorse. And I'll, I'll keep trying it, you know, once once I get that dialed in, I'll, I'll, I'll be upgrading because there's a lot of bells and whistles I like. But for now, uh, I'll stick to showing you in the 0 0.92.5. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you in the next installment of this short tutorial series. Have a good one. Keep drawing.